You know, we're just going to go over this quickly. I've made a bunch of videos. Again, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. You can see I've made a bunch of videos on the online, online Harms Act, Bill C-63. But this is so dystopian and so dangerous and evil that I'm just going to keep popping off about it, even just in little bits. Uh, I'm just going to keep talking about it because it's so awful. It's important to Canadians know about this. I think what percentage of Canadians even know about this bill? It's probably in the single digits. They should be concerned. If this bill goes through, I mean, everybody with any sense would just erase their entire social media presence immediately because of how dangerous it is. Um, but anyway, I think very few Canadians actually even know that this is happening, which is really, really sad. So I'm just going to keep talking about it. Here's from the Justice Center for Constitutional Freedoms in Canada. Uh, and again, this is a warning. This is also a cautionary tale for those of you who are not watching in Canada right now. So this is important for everybody to know because your own government, I'm sure, would love to do this same shit. The Online Harms Act, Bill C-63, is the most aggressive assault against uh, free speech in modern Canadian history. If passed into law, the act will expose you, along with every other Canadian, to being prosecuted by the, um, by the Canadian Human Rights Commission over anything you say that someone else might view as hateful. It's hard to believe. Let me reread that. If passed into law, the act will expose you, along with every other Canadian, to being prosecuted by the Canadian Human Rights Commission over anything you say that someone else might view as hateful. And the question is, of course, always, what is hateful? Well, there's a definition. Watch my other videos. I'll sh I show you the definition. It's completely vague and subjective. And um, it is essentially, it's whatever the person in judgment decides it is and the person in judgment is going to be a left-wing activist so the uh, canadian human rights commission is going to hand it over to a human rights tribunal these are kangaroo courts in canada it's a parallel legal system so it's like a civil court not a criminal court there is no presumption of innocence there is no you know guilty beyond a reasonable doubt it's just like a a, a kind of preponderance of evidence and it gets worse. Let me let me read this to you. Unelected and unaccountable bureaucrats, most of them woke and progressive activists, will decide if your comment is hateful in their subjective view. The Online Harms Act will give the Canadian Human Rights Commission teeth again. You could be ordered to pay the federal government $50,000 plus up to $20,000 to a victim who felt offended by what you said. This $70,000 maximum does not include any legal costs you may incur uh, to defend yourself. Now keep in mind, this can happen again and again and again. This will become an industry, right? There will be an industry of activists trying to cash in on this immediately. The complaint, uh, The complainant, however, would experience no such risk. It costs nothing to make a complaint. If the complaint is dismissed, then the person who filed it is not on the hook for anything. Also, they're anonymous, so you'll never know who it is. You'll never have any idea of the person who costs you thousands of dollars, even if you're not found guilty, which you will be in a kangaroo court human rights tribunal. You're still having to spend thousands of dollars to defend yourself. And just the insane hassle and stress I've been dragged into it in the first place. Person who made the complaint? Well, oh, nothing happens. If they don't get the 20 grand, well, it's no, what, what did it take them, 10 minutes? <laughs> Probably take them five minutes to make the complaint. Then they just wait, see if they cash in. How many times are they going to do it? 10 times a day, 100 times a day? Who knows? This is insane. This is Trudeau attempting to get the public to do his censorship work for him, to punish his, his political enemies. Before Section 13 of the Canadian Human Rights Act was repealed, Canada's quasi-judicial human rights commissions were no notorious for trampling on Canadians' free speech rights. Their kangaroo courts were exempt from the rules of evidence and other legal guardrails that govern real courts in Canada. The conviction rate for those accused of hateful speech was close to 100%. So... I mean, what a surprise. A bunch of left-wing activists in a kangaroo court found everybody hateful. Surprise, surprise. 
If the online harms act becomes law, the Canadian Human Rights Commission will not even need to identify a victim of your supposedly hateful speech, which again is totally subjective. Uh, and it'll be judged uh, by people who tend to find anything they disagree with as hate. The commission will be able to prosecute you in, on the basis of an anonymous complaint, so you cannot face your accuser, ask questions of your accuser, or even know the name or identity of your accuser. In an advanced democracy under the rule of law, a citizen has the right to know who their accuser is, to face their accuser and to question their accuser, uh, or to have their lawyer question their accuser. The Online Harms Act would take away these basic rights from Canadians and expose every citizen to the risk of a Canadian Human Rights Commission prosecution based on anonymous camp, uh, complaints. This is just crazy. I mean, is this Orwellian? Is it Kafkaesque? I mean, does it matter at this point? It's fucking bananas. This is the Canada that Justin Trudeau wants. This is the Canada that far leftists want. This is the Canada that far left authoritarians want. This will be used one way. It will be used political. It will be a political weapon used on enemies of Justin Trudeau or whoever is leading the Liberal Party or just whoever disagrees with the people in the Canadian Human Rights Commission and in the um, human rights tribunals. This will be a political weapon. This will be this will turn into an industry for activists. In a Canadian Human Rights Commission prosecution, the person accusing you does not need to prove that they suffered any loss or damage as a result of your speech. They merely need to assert that you communicated hate speech. Unelected, unaccountable, woke bureaucrats will rely on their own subjective opinions to determine your guilt or innocence. You know, journalists are going to have to, like, journalists are going to have to leave Canada. Like, a lot of people are going to have to. I even, I'm thinking, I mean, like, do I want to stay here? Is there a way that I can, you know, I, do I want to be, do I, do I want to live in a country with these kinds of insane laws? I mean, maybe there's ways around, maybe, you know, just blocking Canada. Maybe that's the solution. But this really is crazy. This is just an attack. This is an attack on any rational, reasonable person in Canada. That's what this is. This is shut the fuck up. We're running the show. You don't have rights. You don't have freedoms. No, it's it's evil. This will also be, in effect, a, a new legal form of swatting a person with no repercussions. Swatting a person with no repercussions. Yeah, it is like that. You know, it's insane. It's insane. Again, this is totally political as well. This will be used one way against anybody not sharing the correct, the fashionable, the politically correct ideology. Saying things that aren't politically correct is going to get you into these human rights tribunals from this human rights commission, which frankly is, it seems like it's euphemistically named at this point, doesn't it? Human rights. I thought, I thought freedom of speech was a human right. I thought being able to speak your mind was a human right. Apparently not in Canada anymore. And that, now the, the bill hasn't passed yet and it's not certain that it will. It certainly seems to be totally unconstitutional, but we shall see the online harms act would allow or would enable thousands of activists to file human rights complaints against the speech of people they disagree with. Even if many of these complaints are dismissed, good Canadians will still be forced to spend time and money defending themselves. Meanwhile, activists making the complaints will pay nothing. Your next salty YouTube comment or X post could get you hauled before the Canadian Human Rights Commission in order to pay tens of thousands of dollars. This is the Canada that Trudeau wants. The Online Harms Act would also create a digital safety commission with powers to police dozens of new regulations created by the federal cabinet. Without any input from parliament, so not democratic, the federal cabinet will create new rules to censor social media services. These politicians will also determine the penalties for breaking those rules. The Digital Safety Commission will investigate, prosecute, and punish the providers of social media services who fail to comply with new censorship measures. This is another aspect they don't get into here, though, but they're saying in this that their plan is fines for the social media companies of, let's see, $25 million or 8% of uh, uh, 
global net revenue. Oh no, global gross, global gross revenue. So like 8% for one, one infraction, 8% of Facebook say of their gross global revenue. Now you're thinking they can't be serious, right? <laughs> Twitter is going to pay 8% of their, because it's 25 million or whatever is larger. You know, so you, they can't actually believe that Google is going to pay 8% of their you know, gross global revenue or Twitter. To me, it looks like on one hand that they just simply are trying to drive social media out of Canada. Already Facebook, because of the Online News Act, Facebook is not allowing Canadian news on its platform in Canada. Right, So there's one down, right? Is it possible that they're actually just trying to drive out all social media from Canada? Because clearly that's not going to be acceptable, right? Those are totally ridiculous. I mean, it's bizarre. It's ludicrous. It's beyond Monty Python. It's just, it's pure and total lunacy. Trudeau was just talking a few weeks ago, about, or a couple of weeks ago, about how much he was pining for the days when there was only like, CBC and CTV News it was so much easier back then without all those pesky like independent journalists and stuff and independent news, you know, two companies that, uh, oh, you just happen to be throwing money at, you just happen to be the paymaster for. Is it possible that that's the, that's the end goal, just to get social media out of Canada? He just feels it'll be just that much easier to manipulate and control and lie to the public. Here, this is my worry. I'm amazed at the lack of talk about it, given how terrible it is. Yeah. Lot, again, I think the number of Canadians, the amount of, you know, the percentage of Canadians that even know about this is, again, the single digits, which is terrifying. Because those people are all going to be vulnerable. Don't forget, again, this is kangaroo court run by, you know, progressive activists who do not, are not going to tolerate anything they don't like. You, you could have posted something 10 years ago, which was perfectly fine back then. In fact, it was perfectly fine in liberal circles back then, right? Well, that can change in a second. I mean, I guarantee you something. If you're a liberal writing things on, on social media 10 years ago, there is shit that's going to be called hate by the Human Rights Commission. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. It changes so fast. And every time they take a step further to the left, Whatever that last, wherever they were a step ago, that's now the far right. Because don't forget, anything that doesn't align exactly with them at any given moment is far right. It's fascism. It's Nazi. All of that, right? That is literally the way they behave. So you're going to post something a year ago that's now verboten. Absolutely. Now you're new Hitler. If you said, you know, five years ago, uh, I'm not sure about this whole sex change for kids thing. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Uh, uh you, that is going to be hate speech. That is that is going to be hate speech from now on. I think there were probably a lot of liberals, you know, 10 years ago for sure, that would have been like, you know, I don't know, I heard this thing about sex changes for kids. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> That's gonna get you in the uh in the human rights tribunal for sure, and you'll be guilty. So if any of this concerns you in the slightest, you should be going to the Justice Center for Constitutional Freedoms jccf.ca go to their website and sign the petition anyway that's all i'm going to say about that please subscribe like and share sharing really helps me out i thank you for that i'll see you next time